travel nurses have been making a killing over the last couple of years. But what if you're a nurse wanting to make a decent living but not wanting to move from one location to the next every 8 to 13 weeks? Maybe you just want to be a staff nurse and you're looking for some stability. So in this video, we're going to go on a mission to find the states that pay nurses the highest median salary. But let's be real, median salary means nothing if the cost to live in a state is astronomical. So I'm also going to show you what the five highest and the five lowest paying states are for nurses in the United States, and I'm going to adjust them for cost of living. Let's get to it. Which states have the 10 highest annual salaries for nurses? If you do not take cost of living into account, you're going to see that California is the highest paying state in the nation with a median salary of 118,000 57% of your income is going to be going towards your mortgage. We're going to be talking a little bit about mortgages later on, but just know that I looked up the median home prices for every single state in the country through Zillow.com. I then took every state's median salary and divided it by the cost of the median home price in that state. Last place on this list is Utah at $67,180 and 62% of this nurse's income going towards their mortgage. As you can see, these numbers do not take into account the amount of taxes that are deducted from a nurse's salary. All right, but now that we know what the top 10 paying states are for nurses in the United States, which states have the highest and lowest net income after taxes are deducted and the mortgage is paid? First, let's go over the median RN salaries in the top five US states with and without the cost of living adjustments. At number five on this list, we have Michigan with a gross salary not taking cost of living into account of $73,040. Before we proceed, I want to explain to you guys my method for calculating the tax deductions for every single one of these states. After I gathered all of this income data from the BLS website, I put it all together and I began by inputting one state's median salary after another. The filing status that I used for both state and federal was single with zero allowances and no additional withholdings. I then took my net pay and I input it into the Excel spreadsheet that I created. And in order to adjust for the cost of living, I took the highest expense you're going to have when you move to a location, your mortgage. I had to go on Zillow.com and look up the home values for every single state on the list. After I gathered the net pay and the home prices for every single state, I then had to go to a mortgage calculator and calculate what my monthly mortgage payments would be based on the median prices I collected from Zillow.com. This gave me some rough numbers that I could work with to then find out what percentage of your income would be going towards your mortgage. So now that I've explained my method behind these numbers, let's continue on to number five of the highest paying states in the country. So the median salary for Michigan is going to be $73,040. $19,420 is going to go towards taxes. You then have a net salary of $53,620. This means that you will be left with $2,062 every two weeks or $4,468 on a monthly basis. Your tax rate at this level is going to be 27%. Now remember, the more that you earn, the more you're going to be taxed. So this tax rate is the effective tax rate for somebody earning $73,040 in the state of Michigan. Now, if we take cost of living into account, let's consider a home price of $218,000 $419, which is the median home price for the state of Michigan. If you have a gross income of $73,040, the total amount of taxes that will be deducted from your paycheck on an annual basis, plus the amount of mortgage payments you're going to be making every year, is going to total to $32,572. This means that your true net salary is going to be $40,468. Every two weeks, you will have $1,500 $556 left over or $3,372 a month. The amount of your income going towards taxes and mortgage is going to be 45%. Next up on this list, we have number four, and that is the state of New York. As a nurse in New York State, your median salary is going to be $89,840. After taxes, your net salary is going to be $63,436 with an effective tax rate of 29%. Your take-home pay is going to be $2,400 $40 every two weeks 
or $5,286 per month. If you're looking to purchase a home in New York State, the median home price is $372,000. $566. If you take your gross income of $89,840 and you deduct it by the total amount of taxes and mortgage you'll pay, you would have left over a true net salary of $41,032 per year. 54% of your income would be going towards your taxes and your mortgage in this state. And you'd be left with $1,578 every two weeks or $3,419 a month. At number three on this list, we have the state of Texas. In the state of Texas, you're going to have a median salary of $75,320. The amount of taxes that you're going to pay is much lower than the other states we've mentioned so far. Your effective tax rate in this state is going to be 23% and your annual take home pay is going to be $58,327. Your net bi-weekly income is going to be $2,243 and your monthly income is going to be $4,861. But if you're looking to purchase a home in the state of Texas, the median home price is going to be $271,000. $172. Your true net salary after your taxes and your mortgage is deducted is going to be $41,983 with 44% of your income going towards taxes and your mortgage. You would have $1,615 left over every two weeks and $3,499 left over month after month. Now coming in at number two on this list, we have the state of Nevada. In the state of Nevada, your median gross salary is going to be $87,000 thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars your effective tax rate is going to be 24% and you're going to be taking home a total of $67,220 after your taxes are deducted. That means you'll be coming home every two weeks with $2,585 or $5,602 month after month. When you take the cost of living into account and a median home price of $410,136 in the state of Nevada, your true net salary is going to be $42,000 $464 with 52% of your income going towards your taxes and your mortgage and $1,633 left over every two weeks after your taxes and your mortgage is paid and $3,539 month after month. Now, number one on this list is probably a state you were not expecting. If you've watched my video on the top paying cities in all 50 states, you would know that Anchorage in Alaska is also listed as one of the highest paying cities in the United States when you take cost of living into account. In the state of Alaska, your median salary is going to be $94,070. Your effective tax rate in this state is going to be 25%, which means you would have a net salary of $70,979 and your net take home pay would be $2,730 every two weeks or $5,915 on a monthly basis. But let's say you're looking to purchase a home in the state of Alaska. The median home price is $308,436. The amount of annual taxes and mortgage payments you will be making is $41,631. After you deduct that from your gross annual income, you would have a true net salary of $52,439. This means that 44% of your income is going to be going towards your taxes and your mortgage you would have a total of $2,017 left over every two weeks or $4,370 every single month. So I've given you the five highest paying states in the United States for nurses, but I also wanna give you the five worst median RN salaries in the United States so you know which states to avoid if you're looking to maximize your income. These are the five worst median RN salaries in the United States with and without cost of living adjustments. And here, because BLS.gov has provided us with Washington DC as another state on this list, we're going to include it. And we're going to go from least worst to worst. 
At number 47 on this list, we have Idaho. I bet you guys did not see this coming, but in Idaho, the median net salary is going to be $71,280. Your effective tax rate in Idaho is going to be 27%. This means you'll be paying a total of $19,356 in taxes, leaving you with $51,924 on an annual basis. You would be bringing home $1,997 every two weeks or $4,327 on a monthly basis. If you're looking to purchase a home in the state of Idaho, the median home price is going to be $447,197. If you take your gross income of $71,280 and you deduct the amount of taxes and mortgage payments you're going to make on an annual basis, you would be left with a true net salary of $25,020. That is about $25,000 less than our number one state of Alaska on this list. You would also be paying 65% of your income towards your taxes and your mortgage. After your taxes are deducted and your mortgage payments are made, you would be bringing home $962 every two weeks or $2,085 month after month. Now, number 48 on this list, we have have the state of Colorado. In the state of Colorado, you would have a median gross salary of $76,500. After paying $20,644 in taxes, you would have $55,856 left over every single year. This means you have an effective tax rate of 27% and you would be bringing home $2,148 on a bi-weekly basis or $4,655 every single month. If you're looking to purchase a home in the state of Colorado, the median home price is the highest we've seen so far at $528,211. The amount of taxes and mortgage payments you're going to be making on an annual basis is going to be $52,372, leaving you with a true net salary of $24,128. This effectively means that you're going to be paying 68% of your income towards your taxes and your mortgage payments, leaving you with $928 every two weeks or $2,011 every single month. At 49 on this list, it is probably not a surprise to you, but it is the state of Hawaii. And as you can remember, without adjusting for cost of living expenses, Hawaii is the second highest paying state in the entire country. Your median net salary in the state of Hawaii is going to be $110,000 $410. Your effective tax rate is going to be 33%, leaving you with a total of $74,217 on a yearly basis, $2,855 on a bi-weekly basis, and $6,185 month after month. If you're looking to purchase a home in the state of Hawaii, then I wish you luck. The median home price in the state of Hawaii is going to run you upwards of $809,000 $570. The amount of taxes and mortgage payments you're going to make on an annual basis on a $110,000 salary is going to be $86,353. This means that your true net salary is going to be $24,057 with an effective tax and mortgage rate of 78%. At the end of the day, you're going to be bringing home a total of $925 on a bi-weekly basis or $2,000 $5 month after month. Now, number 50th on this list and the second worst state to live in if you're looking to get paid the most amount of money with the cost of living taken into account is not actually a state, but it is Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C., you would have a gross median salary of $89,440. You would also have an effective tax rate of 30%, leaving you with $62,255 on an annual basis $2,394 on a bi-weekly basis and $5,188 month after month. The median home price in Washington, D.C. is lower than it is in Hawaii, and that median home price is $693,782. When you take the amount of taxes and your mortgage payments into account that you would be paying year after year, you would effectively be paying 78% of your income towards taxes and your mortgage 
leaving you with a total true net salary of $19,655 on a yearly basis or $756 on a bi-weekly basis or $1,638 every single month. But here we are with the worst state to move to if you're looking to maximize your income. And you also probably didn't expect this because recently a lot of Californians have been moving to this state. And this is the state of Utah at number 51 and the worst state to move to in our list. In the state of Utah, your gross median salary is going to be $67,180. Your effective tax rate in this state is going to be 27% leaving you with a total of $49,276. Now, that sounds good, doesn't it? That means that you'll be taking home $1,895 every two weeks or $4,106 every single month. But let's take a look at the median home price in the state of Utah. If you're looking to purchase a home in this state, the median home price is going to be $511,818. That means that 72% of your income is going to be going towards taxes and your mortgage, leaving you with a true net salary of $18,556. Or in other words, you would only have $714 left over every two weeks after your taxes are deducted and your mortgage payments are made. This means that your true net monthly salary is going to be $1,546 month after month. Now I mentioned previously that I made a video talking about the highest paying cities in all 50 states. If you're looking to maximize your income in any state in the country, I suggest you watch that video because it's gonna show you exactly which city to move to within any state in the country and make the most amount of money when you take your cost of living into account.